Hi, everyone. My name is Deneen White, and I am the host of the VIP Ignite Live podcast. Today, I am so excited to have John Lyric here. So let me tell you a little bit about John. When he was a baby, he was diagnosed with sickle cell disease. And the doctors, honestly, they didn't think he was going to live. But his sister was like his guardian angel and gave him her bone marrow, which suppressed the disease. It has been 20 years since, and never once has John taken his life for granted because he understands and he learned at such a young age that life is really short. And he also learned that he has to follow his passions and with everything that he has, he loves to give honor to God and to his sister for saving his life. So John, I know that you have a big why, okay? Because learning at such a young age that life is so precious. I know that you want to prove to yourself, even though you can see your flaws better than anyone else. And you want to prove to other people that your flaws are beautiful. Like there in Japanese art, there's this art form. I talked about this yesterday on a mastermind I spoke on, but there's this art form of Japanese art where what they do is they take a cracked vase or a cracked piece of um of like pottery and in the cracks what they do is they put gold into the cracks so they highlight the flaws and I feel like when I read what you said about how your flaws are flawless I kind of felt like you're like that Japanese piece of art where yeah you know what we all have flaws but if you don't hide from them and you highlight them then they're beautiful so exactly Yeah, so it's awesome. And I know that your goal also is to travel the world and inspire other people who have sickle cell disease and other diseases like that. So can you talk to me a little bit about that? Like, I I obviously have no idea what it's like to have sickle cell disease, but can you tell me a little bit about how your why is powering you forward? Yeah, so so basically, sickle, let me explain what it is. Um, sickle, sickle cell disease, basically, you know how your blood cells are supposed to be circular? Yes. They, are, they actually are oval shaped and it's extremely painful because they're not supposed to be like that. And um, so when I was a kid, there almost a lot, it was a large amount of blood, my blood cells were oval shaped and it was killing me (laughs) um so every now and then um uh my like after the the surgery that my sister blessed me with her bone marrow uh I still get like little pains but it's not as severe as like a whole attack well thank thank god for your sister yeah um so yeah that that right there teaches it like taught me not only through (laughs) that severe pain but through this like life that you have to not only like protect and care about your your life but about what you're going to do with your life you can't just say oh I'm just lay in the bed or I'm gonna just do whatever my parents do because told me to do because you want to please them you have to please yourself it's your life and I had to learn that (laughs) every day dealing with what I have yeah so yeah yeah I, I think it's awesome that you your goal is to inspire other people who go through that same struggle because it, yeah. There are times in life, let's be honest, there are times in life where we all just want to stay in bed. We all just want to hide from what's going on. But I love that your goal is to not do that because that's that's something that's a really strong mindset for you. For you to be that person who's like, you know what, this is this is this was my experience. And I know there are other people that are experiencing, but you know what? I'm gonna show them through my example one way that they can live their life that's different. I think that's amazing, especially for someone as young as you are. You're, how old are you? 21. Yeah, I mean, so for you at 21 years old to know, to have such a strong why that keeps propelling you forward. I think for me, 
you're such an inspiration to me. I don't, I don't know if you know that, but you really are an inspiration to me, John. So thank you so much Thanks. for being such an amazing example. So your goal is to be an actor, a model and musician, correct? Yes. Okay. So I know that before you started working with us, you ran into this thing that you called the five W's that were holding you back from achieving your goals. Can you yes. talk to me about the five W's please? All right. So my first W was who, as in who was going to help me? Like I'm, my, my father did not make that much money and my mother has like mental problems. So I'm basically doing this by myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my sister was in a, is in the military and she has her own family now. So I can't ask her to do me. So I, had, I was trying to find who or what, who can help me. So, and then the what was, what can I do to help to find who can help me? <laughs> yeah. What can I accomplish by myself without anybody helping me? It wasn't much. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to diff all these different places that will supposedly, supposedly supposed to propel me into greater heights was all false and I had to learn that by myself um what other thing was where where do I where do I go to find these managers agents all of these other things that's supposed to help me propel my my career yeah and I uh I was on Instagram one day and I saw this little ad for, for a VIP, like you need models and actors and all these other things. And I was like, okay, I'm like, I've been through all this scams. Let me see what this about. <laughs> been there, done that, got the t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. I clicked on it and I met someone named Alicia K. Beck and she was extremely brutally honest which I absolutely loved about her and I needed it because all these other places like 99 which I went to before and all this other management places who claim that they can help me uh propel my career didn't do anything <laughs> so I she Alicia basically talked about you know, what the, the industry uh, does and what they want and what they're looking for and what you need to do in order to be the person that they want to see. Mm -hmm. And it really opened my eyes. <laughs> and that's why I'm here now. I listened to what Alicia and then all the, the other advisors and and mentors like Mike and you, my life coach, and, uh, and Ryan, you know, all Fuji, you know, all, everybody who's helped me with, with my modeling and, and everything that I have now. Oh, another thing was uh, how, like, how do I apply those things that you guys taught me to my everyday life and yeah. how do I find how do I reinvent myself mm -hmm. from the closed mindset that, that I had from not wanting to live how I was living to the open mindset that I have now to getting to where I need to be without any excuses without any procrastination so you guys really helped my life, not only in career, but in my everyday life. So oh, that, that's what we do here. And you yeah. also at one point were asking yourself, like, why are you struggling so much too? Why am I struggling? So yeah. Much? What? I was struggling because I was going to all of these incorrect places, going to all of these people, going to all these people that weren't in the industry asking them for advice and I'm like 
now I look back at it and I found myself very stupid. <laughs> and but I learned I learned from it and yeah. it's it's made me a a wiser and stronger person. Yeah. So I- I refrain from calling people stupid because the thing is, is that you don't know what you don't know until you know. And then when you know, you know what you don't know. Like that's yeah. a sister. But like the thing is, is I think, I think the fact that you pursue different avenues is actually a good thing. Did they, did they take you anywhere? No, they were dead ends. Because the thing is, is like all of us are on a path. We're all, all of us are on this journey. Okay. We know, we know kind of what we want as the end destination. But sometimes you're going, 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 and then you're like, oh, I'm going to take a right turn. And then you find yourself on rough terrain, like, okay, get back on the path. And then, oh, you know what? The left looks good. And then you get back on the path. So the way I want you to think about it is I don't want you to ever call yourself stupid again. I just want you to, you know what? That was a learning process. That that, that was a detour. (laughs) And now here I am on the path again. A premature experience. (laughs) <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sometimes you get so excited. It's like a little kid. They're like, okay, they, they're like, oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. So I want you to think about it more like, like, like you said, like a pre more premature experience. It was more of a learning experience than anything, but, yeah. but there was a point where you had to have like a come to Jesus moment, if you will, where you had to have a conversation and be like, okay, you know, what? is this what I, is this something that I want to keep doing? Or should I like quit and become an accountant or something like that? I'm not saying that was your option, but can you talk a little bit about that moment? Like what conversations did you have with yourself and God where you're like, okay, you know what? Do we keep going or do we, do we change paths? Yeah, I had to, I had to self-reflect upon myself and, and think, um, is, me struggling going to propel me in the future or is it going to just depress me and I'm just like that's not what I'm here for I'm here to get my life together even if it is nothing in this hard nothing in this this world is going to be easy it's going to be very hard you have to push, you have to connive, you have to work through it because at the end of the day, you want gratification. I don't want it. I, I would prefer a delayed gratification. I wouldn't want something that would help me in the moment because that's, I want something that will make me excited long term not just something that will you know what I mean so so I had to think about what would help me do that and why why would I do that for myself and that's because I've been I've been going I've been wanting to do this since I was a little kid Mm -hmm. and it's it really it's make all these journeys that I've been on since I've been with you guys, it's really opened my eyes and it's really, it really helped me think about what I want to do with my, with my career and why I'm doing it. That's awesome. (laughs) That's that's awesome. And you know what, that, that's what the whole thing is about. It's about building up those experiences because as you build up those experiences, you start to build up those confidence models, those exactly. confidence muscles, because confidence isn't something that comes naturally to every people, everyone. There are some people that are just naturally confident. I feel like they're born and they're like, hey world, I'm here. But then there are other exactly. people that kind of have to, they have to build themselves up because for whatever circumstances you've gone through, that's the lens that you see the world through. And one of the things exactly. you really struggled with was self-confidence right because Uh, like because like I know I know you didn't have it easy not only with your health issues when you were a child but there were a lot of other things that you struggled with throughout the years and so can you talk a little bit about how you overcame your self-confidence issues yeah so yeah over the years I've just been looking at 
you know, the gap in my teeth, you know, my big old forehead. <laughs> but I'm like, that's still cute. You know, if no one's going to hype you up, you got to hype yourself up because there, you have to... <laughs> You have to ignore all of the ignorance, all of the haterade, you know, it's not cute. All the sour Skittles is not going to make you, it's not going to be cute. It's not going to make you. I was hoping you would say that. Sour Skittles (laughs) are not cute, Ryan Colby. But anyway, sorry. (laughs) Inside joke, sorry. (laughs) No, it's but you're, you're absolutely right. I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just, I had to look for my sour Skittles moment. <laughs> but yeah, all, all, there may be, you may get a lot of naysayers in the world, maybe people who, who call you ugly or whatever, but you are not. You have to embrace what you are. That's what I have to tell myself. Yeah. Because if the your flaws, if they're not A, hurting you, someone tell me this, wink wink <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about <laughs> if they're not hurting you if they're not making you struggle day to day then embrace it it's part of who you are and God would not have made it you that way if he didn't want you to be that way yeah you yeah, know no, I, I agree with, I shared a story with you that I'll share with everyone here I used to work in the dental office and I have a gap between my teeth and I'll never forget. I was in New York city at a dental meeting and this dent, I was working a booth for dental implants and this dentist came up to me and he was like, come here, we have to talk. And I was like, Oh, maybe he wants to buy an implant kit. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I want to be the salesperson of the year. He's like that gap between your teeth. We could take care of that. I was like, And like, I was mortified because that was literally the first time in my whole entire life I ever felt any shame about my diastema. And then I was like, like, then as you not, the entertainment industry is not, it was never something that was ever on the forefront of my mind, but like Madonna has a huge gap between her teeth. There are so many people that have these flaws. And the thing that we have to understand about the entertainment industry is right now, they're not looking for perfect people. And don't get me wrong, if you are if you are absolutely flawless, there is a place for you. But <laughs> there's also a place for people that are too short, that are too tall, that are exactly. too skinny, that are too fat, that are too young, that are too old, that have gaps between their teeth. Because the, the reality is, is that when people are buying products, they want to buy products from people that look like them, that make them comfortable. So if you're watching this and you have any self-confidence issues, it's all mindset. And that's something that we work on at VIP Ignite. Like when we do our boot camps and when we do our coaching, we work a lot on mindset because you can have the all the skills in the world. You can have the absolute, you could nail every monologue you can hit every note you can be absolutely the most perfect person but if you don't know that you can do it if you don't believe in yourself if you don't have that self-love that you're talking about john then you're never going to be successful because if you walk into a room and you don't a deliver your deliver your best but b if you're not your biggest champion, no one else is going to be. So I'm so exactly. proud of you for like pushing through that because I know you and I had a conversation about your teeth and you were like, but to me, I was like, no, 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 no. Let's put this into perspective. And the right. awesome thing is, is like, there are people, I've had conversations like that with other people, not necessarily about teeth, but just about different things. And they didn't want to believe that their imperfections were beautiful. Yes. Like there's a song that I love and one of the lyrics is I'm imperfectly perfect. And I love that because like the thing is is that it's those little things, those little quirks about you that set you apart from other people. So I'm really proud of you for embracing something that you struggled with for so long. And by the way, you don't have a big forehead, so don't ever say that to me again, just so you know. <laughs> I'm just I'm just sorry. And now now the whole world saw you fall out. Okay, so there we go. But yeah, so um, make sure make sure you don't ever say that again. But like, here's a question I have for you. So like, you've gone through this tremendous 
transformation since I met you. I remember at your first photo shoot in Las Vegas, A, it was the first time you were ever on a plane. You were like, Denise, this is my first yeah. time on a plane. I was like, okay, that's no. awesome. You know, I was like, I, I, and honestly, I feel like you're an old soul. So I was shocked to find out how young you are when I met you in person. But, um, but I remember at your first photo shoot, you were like, I think that you were shy about taking the photos. Yes, I was very nervous and shy. You were so my nervous first photo shy. shoot. <laughs> oh my gosh. But when you looked at those photos, what did you see? Did you see what I saw on you? I saw a supermodel. That's what I wanted to be. And that's what I saw. So I was very, very happy and ecstatic about what, the, what the, these photos could do for me. And yeah. what happened in your mindset after you finally started identifying yourself with what you wanted to do with your life? My mindset changed from being a wannabe to being actually am. I am not, I don't, it's not that I am dreaming, I am living, I am going to be. And that's, that really uh, gave me a vision of, Uh, and it gave me a vision of what I want to want to do. Awesome. So, so um, a follow up question to that. Um, so, you know what you want to do. Let's talk about the fact that when I first met you, you were super shy having photos taken, and recently, you were published. Your photos were published in a major New York magazine. Let's talk about this for a second, Mr. John Lyric. <laughs> yeah. Um, so talk about thanks, how this happened. So thanks to VIP, always, I met a photographer in New York. His name is Seth, um, Seth London. And he um, wanted, he liked my taking photos photos with me so much that he asked me um, if and I like doing it with him so I asked him if I can have a one-on-one -on -one photo shoot with him and luckily I'm about to leave okay uh, I asked him um, uh, if if I could have a photo shoot and he said yeah so as soon as he did the photos and it was really fun with doing photos with him. I love Seth. Um, he, uh, he said he's going to uh, submit them for a magazine. And I was ecstatic just being submitted. And so when, when he, uh, he uh, messaged me, I think it was like three days ago or four days ago, he messaged me and he was like, do you trust me? I'm like, yeah, I trust you. <laughs> Hold on, you're not Danita. I don't know if I should say yes or no to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his, me and his relationship is growing. For yes. So I'm like, yeah, I trust you right now. So let's, what's, what's, what's up? So he sent me a link and he said, buy, he said, buy the, um, the June issue. So I bought it and I was seeing what he was talking about. So he, I can't even get it out. I looked, scrolled down and I saw my picture in that magazine and I was rolling on the floor with laughter and with tears. My first magazine feature. And it's not even like it was one photo. There are several photos in that magazine. It was that a whole magazine, thread. Yeah. There were, the magazine is called Dappy. So go buy it. All right. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's called Dappy. And I'm so thankful to them for showing me in their magazine. So 
So for anyone who's eating sour Skittles, what did you, what can you say to them now? I say yeah. be, be sweet now, no more sour, all no right? Sour. You thought that you can suppress my glow with your darkness, but I'm shining bright like the sun. So get your life. <laughs> Cause I got mine. <laughs> yeah, no, John, it's, so watching your growth has been absolutely tremendous. And the thing that I appreciate most about you is that whenever we throw you a challenge, like you jump on it. You're not someone who's like, well, I don't know. Like, let me watch other people go. I don't, should I do this or not? You're one of yeah. those people that you literally have trusted the process from the beginning. And like, you have been all in. And I, I want to let you know, like, I, if you're watching this, there is a process, there is a plan that you have to follow. And you can't just like, and John already went over this, like you can't just like throw spaghetti at the wall and hope that this will work or that works. The thing that you need and the thing that's helped you grow is because you accepted that A, you can't do this alone because that was one of your questions. Like, who's going to help me? I need help, right? So you realize right. that you can't do this alone. You realize that you have to have a mentor or a team of people around you that are going to take you from Absolutely. where you are to where you want to be. And one of your goals is to be a model. So you got to align with the right people. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you know, I am a model, Denine. Did you not hear what I just said? But when you first heard that, Denine, listen to my words. Use your own words. But the, the awesome thing is, is that when you first started with us, that was one of your goals and now yeah. you've achieved that goal so like if you're watching this podcast if you're watching us on youtube watching us on facebook wherever you're watching us this is what i want you to understand okay there is a process and one of the amazing things that we do is we do these virtual online boot camps where you can actually get discovered okay they're on zoom and You've been on a lot of the boot camps. Like how tremendous is it having the opportunity? You could stay home or be in the library wherever you need to be. I guess not if you're talking too much, they'll kick you out of the library. But um, yeah, <laughs> but you can you can literally join us from the comfort of your own home and have the opportunity to meet amazing people. Because John here is on. He's a part of our coaching program, so he has the opportunity to meet with people literally from all over the world that are helping to form, helping to form a plan for him, helping to propel his career forward. So, if that's something that you're interested in, what I want you to do is I want to make sure that you hit follow you, on our podcast. For me in there? Subscribe to our podcast. Okay, make sure you subscribe to the VIP Ignite Live podcast. And then what I also want you to do is follow us on social media. We have so much going on and we want to help everyone. We want to help people just like you get started in the entertainment industry. We want to help propel your career forward. And we want to help you build up that confidence so that when you walk into that room for that audition, when you walk into that room to meet with that agent, you become that person that an agent or manager wants to work with. That's literally what John has gone through in the last year and a half that he's been with us and now i don't know if he's going to dance for us or what's going on here <laughs> but if what i want you guys to do is i want you to really you have to take matters into your own hands you can't do this alone no man is an island so make sure you subscribe to the vip ignite live podcast because i'm going to be inter interviewing a bunch of talent just like john uh, and um, we just want you to follow us on all forms of social media uh so a photographer just asked me to take pictures. So I'ma just <laughs> Okay. okay. Yeah. Well look at this. He's so busy, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that he has to dip out of his own podcast because he needs to take photos. But make sure that since I'm your mother agent, that you send me the information of the photographer. All right. Okay, of course. All of right. Course. Well, John, thank you so much for being here. And everyone who's listening, make sure you hit subscribe on the VIP Ignite Live podcast. Follow us on social media and we will see you on the next podcast. Have a great day. Bye, Have John. a good one. Later. Bye.